Yeah, certainly a fantastic idea to do this this evening. Hmm. Yeah, not tonight. We've got more pressing issues. But we do have race truck parts. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. So as you can kind of figure, um, I'm all bundled up because it is cold out. We're going to be working on our 2011 3500 that we picked up. We're going to pull the trans out tonight. Um, I said in the previous video that we were working on the race truck because it was cold out and it was dark out and all that. Well, as you can tell, it's the same tonight. And actually, I think it is flurrying a little bit. But that being said, got home from work and it was dark. It is what it is. Um, and from what I understand, it is supposed to snow tonight. So I would like to get this transmission out and that way we are started on the progress of our 3500. Like I told you guys before, the plan is get this thing running, driving, maybe run it for a couple weeks, make sure there's no issues and then get rid of it. So we're gonna be putting R68 RFE from this race truck, which is a cab and a chassis and putting it in into this truck so the drive shafts are already out the cooler lines are already disconnected and the trans itself is drained so basically all we have to do is undo the flex plate to uh the flex plate to torque converter bolts then the actual bolts for the transmission and the cross member and then pull that sucker out really shouldn't be too big a deal now that being said i am used to doing this in the garage on a nice concrete floor so tonight we will be doing it on the driveway and i do have some plywood out there i know it's dark i will get a light but my driveway is rather poor so it is hard to move something on casters but before we get started on all that moby dick has new tires on the wheels and it's main purpose this truck is snow and shitty weather it's supposed to snow tonight and i need my jack stands so it's time to get the top wheels and tires back on this thing so we can use the jack stands on the 3500 so i just really gave a way too in-depth description of what we're doing tonight for some reason but oh well i'm gonna roll with it let's get moby dick sitting on some uh wheels and tires get this thing sitting up off the ground and get the transmission out of it let's get to it So as you guys can probably tell, we have a little bit of a time jump here. Um, the snow started coming down a little more. Uh, yeah, certainly a fantastic idea to do this this evening. Uh, the weatherman said that, you know, there's supposed to be some snow, but I always kind of consider them to not know what the hell they're talking about, which is usually the case. Tonight, they got it right. Uh, but we got some snow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much that is. I don't really care. Anyway uh yeah fantastic night to be pulling a transmission out so like i said a bit of a time jump there is not really much we had to do but a couple things caused us some problems uh i shouldn't say problems were just a little bit of a pain um when i started this i kind of figured hey it's a 68 we pulled it out before not a big deal but i forgot about the multitude of wires that are on these things um all of the wires that go to the stuff we don't need anymore are still here as you can see it is just a complete collaboration of crap um the torque converter was actually already um unbolted so we didn't have to worry about that though we will have to use r68 bolts so the current status is the we have one bolt on either side of the cross member end and uh 
no knot on the back side the torque converter was already unbolted i got all but like three two or three bolts left in the bell housing of the transmission um everything's disconnected now on these 68s you have these these plates or brackets these are the two side ones um i guess extra support or whatever so they go right here on the transmission and then connect to the engine So those had to be disconnected. Really not a pain or a problem, but there's also a bracket right there on the back of the engine and top of the transmission. A um, Little bit of a bear to get to the side here on the passenger side with the turbo and the exhaust in the way. I didn't want to pull the exhaust, so I instead just pulled the fender well, was able to get in there. Bit of a pain, but oh well. So like I said guys a bit of a time jump because once the snow started coming down I kind of saw how it was coming down um, I just kind of forgot about the GoPro and just said let's get this thing out because toes are cold because for whatever reason I put my car hearts on but eh, yeah we'll just wear a set of Nikes out there um, and my hands because I can I have gloves insulated gloves but you can't wrench in them it's you just can't feel nothing it's not right and then of course you're cold when you bang your hand it hurts even more yada 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 we're ready to pull this thing out we'll get the jack out here or jacks we'll jack the thing up uh take out the bolts in the bell housing pull that cross member and this thing should slide out and we should be done uh like i said the weather's probably part of it not that it's really a that big a deal underneath the truck it's just the whole thing of it but uh, yeah, so let's pull this transmission out and uh, have a cocktail. So the 68 RFE and the transfer case are out of the uh, the Craigslist Cummins. So a couple things to note that I noticed. Ugh. One, on the back of the axle, there is a Jasper sticker and a fresh American flag over there. So I'm thinking we might have a remanufactured axle. I'll have to call Jasper and see what's going on with that. Just uh, this thing might be under warranty. Uh, not that there's any issue with it that we know of, but just uh, another selling point, if you will. Uh, if it has a warranty, that'd be awesome. Also, we have some wetness over here. Uh, looks like maybe an axle seal is bad. Um, and I'm just going to assume that the ball joints are probably toast. Uh, haven't checked that or the wheel bearings, but wouldn't surprise me, but who knows? Oh. Also, another thing I noticed on the transfer case here, if you see, we have a tag, remanufactured parts with a Mopar sticker. So that might be a pretty new transfer case. I mean, things pretty clean, honestly. Um, but yeah, that and our transmission are out. There was a lot of rust on the torque converter and the flex plate. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe this thing's just been sitting that long. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of rust. Oh, oh, that a leak. Okay, I was thinking this line here was a crack does not appear to be the case but yeah there's something going on here we'll probably pull the flex plate because it is wet under the uh the engine here might need a rear main seal that we have to deal with um 
but it's all well and good that's all part of the the whole project so you know what i'm thinking we're gonna pull the torque converter off and just take a look at the input shaft Huh. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> well, guys, I think we have our uh, transmission failure analysis complete. Uh, this thing snapped an input shaft. Uh, wow, that's, uh, surprising. Uh, if you guys remember when I was talking about this truck, the warranty from BD strictly said that, you know, shaves breaking, which is with any transmission, um, not covered under warranty. So I chose to, you know, not deal with the whole BD thing, any, and, uh, you know, the guy I last talked to that told me that said, you know, this thing had chunks of metal in it. You know, it was really bad. Um, but yeah, that's, that's impressive. There we go. That's a 68 RFE input shaft that is smoked. Wow. Wow, that, uh, it's unexpected, but, huh. Yeah, this, yeah, that thing's gone. Wow. That's kind of surprising because this truck, I know it has a Smarty, but I think it was just used for like fleet stuff. But wow, well, this is another broken part for the collection. This is my first broken 68 RFE input shaft, but I didn't break it. So I don't know if that counts. Uh, I have plenty of 48 ones. Wow. That, uh, that thing is gone. Well, Definitely a souvenir for the collection. Well, we got our Craigslist Cummins transmission out. We found our failure point. It was the input shaft. Uh, yeah, I don't know about these 68s, but, you know, there's probably crap all inside of it. This thing's probably just good for a core anymore. But, yeah, that snapped input shaft is definitely uh, kind of funny. Uh, uh, didn't it? didn't expect it at all it's a 68 um the paperwork that i did find did say that it did not have forward or reverse which i did th think was a little odd usually these 68s the first thing to go is the overdrive so fifth and sixth you know the truck would just start like pulsing or slipping or like the low reverse sprag but usually even then you might have reverse or some movement but broken input shaft you ain't getting no movement so uh yeah definitely an interesting find uh i find it amusing for sure i pulled it off of there and wow uh i uh, when i was pulling the converter off i had some trouble with, well this is weird like usually a converter just slides right out and, well we found out why so i hope you guys enjoyed we'll be getting our race trucks old 68 rfe back in there in you know next day or two hopefully the snow will be all melted hopefully it's a little warmer this week i really don't want to have to put one in in the snow taking it out was not exactly uh the best idea i don't know if that's the right way to put it but it was not fun uh just for the cold factor and the fact that i had to keep them rolling out from under it and getting snow all over the place hands cold toes cold all that kind of bullshit Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Catch you guys on the next one. We'll be having this thing rolling here shortly. Don't you worry. Uh, so get out in your garage. Get the wrenching on your truck. 